This painting is one of uh, the well-known pilots in Japanese history whose name is Sumitomo Fujiwara. He's supposed to be my ancestor. My father found out years ago from our family tree book he was a good pilot who wanted to change the society around to 900. Me at na two, two. My father was from samurai family. I found he had a samurai spirit. He named me Yayoi because he wanted to me as a star of female musical theater company Takarazuka. If I was a boy, he was going to name me Rashomon's uh, writer, Ryunosuke. This is me. This photo is, uh, the, I'm doing a, a false, uh, sorry, I made a mistake, but anyway. <laughs> I was doing uh, uh, lots of different things. So this is a photo from Four Seasons written by Arnold Wesker. This is two actor play. Speaking theater in Japanese for me was uh, easy than movement only theater. I wanted to challenge something difficult for me so that I wanted to work mime and uh, movement theater after the performance. So this, I looked for some theme from Japanese traditional theater, no kabuki or Japanese dance. Female is a leading role. One of that is dojo. This is a photo from dojo. I received from Japanese government and artist fellowship from that. After coming back from the uh, one-year fellowship in Germany, Cologne, and Canada, Edmonton, I started the Yayoi Theater Movement. This photo is a second version of dojo. I used wooden masks and kabuki makeups on the stage without mirror. 1994, I, uh, my third French tour starting in New York City, then Montreal, Minneapolis, Toronto, Saskatoon, Edmonton. This review encouraged me a lot. This theme is, Who Am I? Uh, it. This is one of the few creations without Japanese theme. In 1995, I began to learn no mask carving with a master carver. My first three masks are used in Uzume, a Japanese legend with themes of seven sin. This show did a tour in Europe and was presented at the No Theater with a well-known jazz musician. This is another famous ca kabuki and no theater story with female lead. Because I was not born to a no or kabuki family, I changed the theme to give a reason why this woman become evil. This is old woman. So now, I moved to Canada to in 2002. This is my last performance in Japan. Those themes are again from Japanese legend Snow Woman and Sumida River. Both leading roles are female. Those are one woman show with music. Middle one is uh, Sumida River. From 1995 to 2002, I carved 11 masks in Japan, only for my stage. Those masks are carved with Japanese cypress wood, painted by Japanese watercolor. Since then, I have carved seven masks uh, in Canada using yellow cedar. Three months after moving here, I found out I had breast cancer. It took me a couple of years to be free. One year after the major surgery, I created Celebration of Life to raise money for BC Cancer Foundation and the BGH and UBC Hospital Foundation. This is from the performance Four Seasons. I picked up four stories from No Theater for dif four different women who are young to old, spring to winter. When I was in Japan, I was looking for more than experimental work, but after moving here, I, my focus shifted more to my Japanese heritage. This is the one I worked three mothers' story, a collaboration with First Nations and Jewish art artists. I wanted to explore how much different from another culture four different masks were used. Stories, music by Jackie Bell with concert pianist Sarah Davis Buchner. I used 10 different masks for each 10 music piece inspired a different movement. I enjoyed the process of making this performance with Sailor. Shadow 
Shinju, the double suicide story from Kabuki. 400 years ago, women studied Kabuki. Then the government said only adult male actor can perform Kabuki. Even today, only male perform no and Kabuki professionally in Japan. In Canada, we can do whatever you want. <laughs> when I toured in Canada and performed at the Fringe in uh, Vancouver 1992, Fringe office offered me homestay with Roy Kiyoka. That was the first time to get to know the struggle of Japanese people in Canada during the Second World, World War. So this is uh, the final performance for the identity. I worked with Jay Hirabayashi. That was a very interesting experience for me to work the theme, as well as to get to know Japanese Canadians, Nisei and Sansei. In Japanese community here, we still have some gaps, but I wish they will disappear in the future. There is uh, some similar stories from all different countries, al although the culture, face, skin difference. We all eat and sleep, laugh and play. This is the story of Rokujo from No Theater. I found a similarity with Greek tragedy Medea. The Greek tragedy Medea was one of the, my ambition to work on sometime in my life since I was in my 30s. Finally, I have a chance to work with Japanese story of Rokujo. This time, the basic story is Medea with a Japanese adaptation using masks and no chant, bunraku type of puppets. I hope you can come to my performance.